so House Yvonne is actually just a branch of House Blathed? Yes, though really, if you trace any noble bloodline back far enough, you will find most of them are related in one way or another. For example, Duke Yvonne possesses the Crest of Karen, while her grandfather possessed the Minor Crest of Fraldarius. Yet another of her ancestors bore the Crest of Blathed, which is passed down through the royal bloodline. So you just gotta have a crest to inherit the family title, huh? Doesn't matter which one it is? In general, yes. The nobility used to be more particular about their requirements, but that is in the past now. Since the houses all keep intermingling, none of them really have a pure bloodline anymore. Meaning they don't get to be picky about which crests they get. Though in truth, the main reason why crests are so valued is because they allow their bearers to wield the hero's relics passed down through generations. In other words, one who possesses a crest compatible with the family's relic is much more likely to inherit the family title. Huh. Speaking of, you're the heir to House Galatea, but your crest comes from another family, right? Yes, but my house is a little different from the others. We originally split off from House Daphnel in Leicester, you see. And at times in our history, crest bearers have been passed over entirely for the inheritance. Ugh, can't you just pick a rule and stick to it? Why do you nobles always have to make stuff so complicated? Complicated or not, this is important knowledge if you are going to keep serving His Majesty. If you stay ignorant, the soldiers you command will lose respect for you, and His Majesty's reputation will be irreparably damaged. Sorry, you're right. I shouldn't be complaining after I asked you to teach me. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, right. You're the legitimate heir, and you have a crest, which means you're gonna inherit the family title someday. But what about all that talk of becoming a knight? Can you even do that if you're leading your house? No. I have dreamt of obtaining knighthood and defending the king ever since I was a little girl. But I'm afraid it's not meant to be. And none of your siblings have crests, do they? Isn't there anyone who can take the title for you? My eldest brother says he is willing to do so if necessary. After all, the decision comes down to what the family and the heir want. Usually, leadership passes to a child with a crest. There have been exceptions, as I mentioned before. Even so, it is the duty of every kingdom noble to take up their relic in defense of their people. Not to mention, my father is not the only one who wants to see me in charge of the house. The citizens of Galatea are hoping for the same. Huh. I'm not sure I really get all the politics behind it, since I wasn't born in the kingdom. But wouldn't you still be able to protect the king, even if you ended up a count? I am not sure I follow. Sorry, I can explain some other time. There's a story about a mercenary I'd love to tell you. <sighs> oh, you're awake. Don't worry, it's only been a few hours. <sighs> what? happened the last i remember i was training some of our new recruits you got hit by some stray magic pretty hard too yes that's right how could i have let my guard fall so carelessly probably the exhaustion you usually sidestep stuff like that no problem everybody was really worried about you though Dadu and Felix, in particular, didn't know what to do with themselves. Guess the silver lining is that it forced you to get some rest. 
if only for a few hours. Apologies for causing such a disturbance. I'm fine now, I assure you. Uh-huh, sure you are. I know you're just gonna get straight back to work if I leave you be. But hey, take a look around first. Hmm. The room is immaculate. Is this your handiwork? Yep. Though we left anything that seemed like it would need your input. Figured we could at least take care of the small stuff while you were out, though. Oh, and everyone? And I mean everyone thinks you should be taking more breaks. I'm certainly grateful for the gesture. But how did you find time for this amidst your other responsibilities? It was easy once we split everything up. Felix Dedu and I wrapped up the training session in your stead. Then Rodrigue and Sylvain handled the rest of your paperwork. You might want to glance through it later, though. Ingrid tended to the horses, while Ash and Annette helped organize all your books. Oh, and Mercedes baked some wonderful treats for you. They'll have you back on your feet in no time. What else? What else? Oh, right! We sent some soldiers out to check on the nearby villages, too. Incredible. I never expected you to do this much. I told you not to do everything yourself, but you still keep piling more and more stuff on anyway. That's not true. I've relied on you and the others much more frequently of late. Besides which, this is what I want to do. You've gotten better, sure, but I'm saying it's not enough. Don't you trust us? This isn't a matter of trust. I deeply depend on every single person in this army. Then why didn't you tell anyone else about how you went and buried all those villagers? Everyone was stunned when I mentioned it to them. They want to hear about that stuff from your mouth, not mine. Yes, I... <sighs> My apologies. If you're really sorry, then you won't let it happen again. Anyway, go get some more rest. And don't try to say you're not tired just so you can keep working. <laughs> I see I can't fool you. Though, in truth, I doubt I'll be able to doze off again so soon after enjoying my first dreamless sleep in ages. In that case, come kill some time with me. I'm sure the training grounds will be free by now. Yes, that sounds lovely. And, uh, thank you. doing here I had business in the capital speaking of I hear you're that boar's knight now or oh you mean his majesty yeah him you must have it rough with a tiresome man like that leading you I think you're exaggerating Felix I wouldn't call him that at all in fact he even does our jobs for us sometimes. Although he has been trying to rely on us a little more lately. See, that's exactly why he's such a problem. You should steal your job back from him once in a while. Use force if you have to. <gasps> Felix, are you? Anyway, the castle has certainly changed in the past, what, two years since he took over? For one thing, there are many more commoners among the knights. You have a good eye to notice that. But yes, His Majesty says there are pros and cons to it. For example, knights from noble families tend to be more polite and respectful. There were a lot of scuffles and misunderstandings in the beginning, but things seem to be calming down now. And which are you, noble or commoner? You became a knight on Lord Lenato's recommendation, right? 
Yeah, my situation is kind of strange. I'm almost stuck right in the middle. Still, I feel like there are things only I can do precisely because I don't fit into either box. But whenever I'm in real trouble, His Majesty and Dudu always come to my aid. So that's good. Dudu as well, huh? Yep, even the knights accept him as one of us now. No one's a better cook or more skilled with their hands. And he's a proper demon on the battlefield to boot. I hope to be more like him someday. Please, no. One of him is more than enough. Especially that blind loyalty. Imitate that and you'll only end up throwing away your life on the battlefield. Oh, are you worried about us? That's sweet, Felix. I always had the impression you cared for your friends, and now I know I'm right. Excuse me? I mean, sure, the things you say are pretty harsh, but you can't bring yourself to actually abandon someone. You always show so much concern for me, and for to do, and even for His Majesty. Yeah, well, it'd be more work for me if anything happened to you, that's all. I'm busy enough as it is. Can't afford to take on more issues. Well then, I'll do my best not to add to your problems. I doubt you'll need to try that hard. You do a decent enough job of supporting folks already. So, keep up the good work and maybe I'll lend you a hand someday. You know, if you need it. Thanks, Felix. I'll be counting on you. But that is heavy. Could you grab the feed over there, Mercedes? Yes, of course. Give me one moment, please. Uh, please, don't push yourself if you're tired. I can do it. Well, we managed to finish. I'm so sorry for leaving the bulk of the work to you. Do not worry about it. You are always helping me with so many other things. Besides which, I am used to taking care of horses. It barely even feels like work anymore. I suppose House Galatea is famous for its Pegasus Knights. Yes, though they are costly to care for, so we don't keep many. When I was a child, I often helped my older brothers tend to both our Pegasi and our horses. I forgot that you have brothers. Yes. My eldest brother acts as our father's advisor, while the other serves a different family as a knight. You must have been very close. It's wonderful. I suppose, though we hardly ever played together, the age gap was just too great. My eldest brother in particular was incredibly strict with me. Whenever I would try to go horseback riding through the hills, he would say, how dare you do something so dangerous? What if something happened to you? What's worse, my father agreed with him. It kept me from getting out on too many adventures as a child. Thinking back on it, I understand their concern. I was the only one in the family to bear a crest, after all. I'm not so certain your crest was a reason for their concern. I think they were worried simply because they love you. You are the youngest, yes? It's only natural for them to want to keep you safe. Well, it is true we had a mostly good relationship, but I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm not so sure. They would have treasured you all the same, even if you didn't bear a crest. I used to fuss over my younger brother all the time when we were little, so I understand what it's like to be an older sibling. I hear you, but I still don't see the need to be quite so overprotective. 
You protest, but I can tell you enjoyed their show of affection. In fact... Um, Mercedes? What are you doing? I'm ruffling your hair, since your brothers aren't around to do it. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Come, we should get back to work. <laughs> Whatever you say. rest your majesty these late hours will only undermine your health I appreciate your concern but I fear sleep eludes me after our last battle no need to wait for me to do <laughs> or to worry I'll rest when I find a suitable stopping point you said the same the other day then worked until the break of dawn <laughs> I should know better than to argue when you get like this very well. I'll rest once I know these documents contain no errors. And if you assist me, it will go all the faster. This is written in the language of Dusker. Is it a letter to the leadership? Yes. I'd ask their cooperation in investigating a number of matters pertaining to the tragedy of Dusker. Some interim reports arrived the other day. So, I'm thanking them for those and requesting a further investigation into another matter. I see. Such important tasks warrant daylight. Can this not wait until morning? And what if I fall in battle tomorrow and the work remains forever unfinished? I must do all that I can while I still draw breath. I will uncover the truth of that day. An exact revenge for the dead. I swear it. There's no time to waste. After all, it doesn't appear resolving this issue will be as simple as just setting all the perpetrators to meet their end. All the more reason to rest and preserve your health. <sighs> My rest and health can wait. At least until I've looked through these inquiries into the Western Front. Ah, and I should put in some training before I sleep, to make up for all this desk work. Do you still have nightmares of that day? You remember then? <laughs> I'm surprised. I've not mentioned them in years. I used to summon you to my room under the pretense of keeping you safe from the others in the castle. Then I'd have you listen to me babble until sleep finally claimed me. I've always been grateful for the consideration you showed. It was my own selfishness. Nothing praiseworthy. Well, if sleep still evades you, I would be happy to lend an ear. That would only succeed in exhausting us both. We have an early start tomorrow, so please, get some rest. I know you will once again implore me not to overextend myself. But I assure you that I know my own limits better than anyone. At least let me bring tea before I depart. That would be wonderful to do. And apologies for always putting you through so much trouble. Ah, Sylvain. I was hoping to ask your opinion on our recent meeting. Hey, I'm always happy to talk. But if you want House Gautier's take, shouldn't you ask my father? I don't want House Gautier's opinion. I want yours. Okay. Well, we were talking about the pros and cons of incorporating commoners in the nobility, right? Seems to me like we got it all sorted out. Yes. The discussion primarily revolved around a single point whether those without crests are actually worthy of entering the nobility. I mean, if they're up to the challenge, I don't see why not. 
It's like how you promoted my brother, right? Skill is what matters in the end. Indeed. And the performances of Ash and the Commander serve as proof of such. Just don't get carried away, you know? Too much of a good thing and all that? I'm sure you realize what would happen to the Kingdom if we lost the power of Crests. Naturally. However, Crest bloodlines are currently fading everywhere. People such as Felix who were born with major Crests are the exception in this day and age. Which means Fargus has two options if we want to retain our power. One, we bolster our military and promote prosperity while delicately letting the Bloodline dance play out. Or two, we admit Bloodlines won't last forever and create a social system that doesn't rely on inheritance. Neither one would hold up for long, but if I had to choose, I guess the first option would be the better one for the Kingdom on the whole. Bolstering our military is more easily said than done. Impoverished as our land is, it will be difficult to compete with regions of more fertile ground. Hey, do you remember what I said when you talked to me about promoting my brother? I told you it was important to keep up appearances while we were in the middle of a war. And honestly, I don't have any real objection to the way you're running things now. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvain. I knew you would help me sort things out in my head. <laughs> I don't usually get into serious stuff like this, but I'm glad I could help. Such topics are not beyond your grasp, though. Your complete sincerity is a great strength. That said, you never show that side of you to any but Felix and myself. Although, I must admit, you were far from sincere during our academy days. Ugh, don't remind me. Just thinking about it makes me cringe. If you see the error of your ways, it is not too late to mend them. Or perhaps you require one of my lectures, like old times? Pass. You know I've got them all memorized anyway. I do hope you realize how much I rely on you, Sylvain. You have so many things I lack. You're clever and quick-witted like your father, yet... Yeah, well, I've been jealous of your strength ever since we were kids. None of us are perfect, so let us dwell no longer on our failings. I apologize for taking up so much of your time, though I hope to have similar discussions in the future. Looking forward to it. Glad I can always speak my mind around you. Well, you three are a merry bunch. If this is how you're gonna approach the next battle, I better go buy some white cloth so we can start sewing our surrender flags. Sorry, I was lost in thought for a second there. You don't say. What's got you down? I just never imagined we'd all be fighting together here in Dusker. You come back here often, right, Dadu? I have heard His Majesty say as much on multiple occasions. Yes. Well, Dusker is still quite new to most of us, so we will definitely be depending on you. A word, Ingrid. 
It's true we shouldn't wallow in the past, but there is also no need for false cheer. Sure, but considering who we're going up against, it's not like we've got happy days ahead. We'll be fighting a Dusker militia, right? Yeah, we've been asked to put down an insurrection. Some sort of internal disagreement. Dusker is divided. Some seek peace with Fargus. Others reject it. Things have been getting better between our two lands of late, but there are still plenty of folks who can't let the old grudges go. Hey, I get it. A lot of these people lost everything. His Majesty still seeks to make amends. He's come here for speeches countless times. Our activities today are part of that effort. Well, you still seem awfully gloomy if that's all this is. I mean, I get that this is a place where important folks died, but that's not exactly unusual, you know? There's more. The leader of this insurrection aided the people who killed the late king all those years ago. So, we're not just here to put down some random riots. Our real task is to arrest the leader and bring him back to Ferdiad. That man played a key role in the tragedy of Dusker. And he's responsible for Glenn's death. Wait, hold on. This guy's from Dusker, right? I thought they had nothing to do with all that. The vast majority did not. But a few did, even if they weren't the brains behind the whole thing. We always knew some from Dusker were involved, as guides, if nothing else. And the Boar has been working with Dusker's leadership to find out who they were. Sounds like the word got out. But still, inciting a rebellion seems like a pretty last-ditch effort to avoid justice. Will you be able to stay your hand, Ingrid? I will honor His Majesty's wishes. This leader has information we need, so we have to take him alive. No matter how much I may want to do otherwise. We'll uncover the truth and punish whoever is guilty. <sighs> that will have to suffice as my revenge. I think there are a lot of people who'd like a crack at this guy. Which is why we're here and a certain someone isn't. His Majesty placed faith in us. We can't let him down. Right. <sighs> if you three keep acting like you're going to a funeral, your troops are gonna follow suit. Snap out of it already. Hold those heads up high. You're right. We're here as representatives of the... King. And we can't afford to lose this battle. Well then. Come on, let's get this show on the road already. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Let's begin. It's time to ice. Permit no casualties. So they want to keep us out? Fine. We'll just cut our way through. No killing. Huh? It will only complicate things. I'm not you think I don't me. know that? Let us take this 
Terrain. Did you live around here? My hometown 
Listen to these words. The same words for the late king at his end. Oh. I, uh, I didn't know. Pockets, oh, rats, always sticking their noses where they don't belong. They're going to be trouble, and we still have allies under attack. Not grow complete. in the operation.
I cannot... Begin the operation. Our order... for you to be fighting in your old home to do. Your concern is unnecessary, but thank you. I like a touching moment as much as the next guy, but we're in the middle of a battle. Stay focused. Take a breather. It's worth a shot. I can. It's worth a sh Is it my turn? <laughs> Out of my way! Not grow. Do it. <laughs> 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 
give up. My turn. No! 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 hate us, but what sense is there in fighting their own people? Seems that wasn't the general we were after. Come, let us go. There's still others who need our help. We've got a friend in trouble. Too easy.
Not bad. I'm getting strong. Now get out of here and find somewhere safe to hide. You come for me, huh? Well, bring it on. I'll kill the lot of you. Give it up. This is the one we're after. Remember, we need him alive. It's worth a shot. Surprised the boar sent you with us, Ingrid. I'd have thought he'd keep you as far away from this as possible. This assignment was my request. I seek to put the past behind me once and for all. Why did you participate in the massacre? I must know. Tell me! Oh, don't play the victim. Those hands of yours have more blood on them than mine ever will. Come here to crush Dusker under your boots once more, have you? You have no right to say that. No! What are you gonna do to me? You will come to Ferdiad and answer some questions. Take him away. was a long time coming, and a fine result, seeing as we suffered no needless casualties. I guess so. Still, I wonder why our target chose to take part in the tragedy of Dusker in the first place. Probably bought off by somebody higher up the food chain. That's usually how these things go. Then we must find who paid him. Right. We're sure to discover something if we follow the money. Whatever the reason, there's no need to speculate. Agreed. His Majesty will suss it out. Yes. Let's put our faith in him. But for now, we should tell the citizens of Dusker about what transpired today. Wait. I must make a brief stop. Oh? Where? A lake deep in the forest, where a field of flowers once grew. The area was trampled by the kingdom's army some time back. I want to see if it is recovered. I could use some flowers in my life right about now. And who knows the next time we'll be coming this way again. Mind if I join you? Please do. Count me in too. Felix? 
I don't really care about that stuff, but sure. Still, we've got a lot to do, so let's make it quick. Oh, how lovely. I can't believe a place like this is hidden away in the forest. I often came here with my sister. I am glad to see it somewhat recovered. Somewhat? You mean it used to be even more beautiful than this? Indeed. Wow. I'd love to see it in all its glory someday. King Lambert died near this spot, right? I wonder if Glenn ever saw this place. I think it likely. When things settle in Dusker, this field should also return to form. We should come back then, to see the field as he did. Yes, we should. You sure you just want to hang back, Felix? This is really something. It might be good to, you know, take in the scenery. Maybe think about your brother. No thanks. Remembering the past is important, but the present gives me all the direction I need. Namely, the duty to protect the same things Glenn did before me. You mean Fraldaria's territory itself? No. Well, yes. Obviously, I have a duty to protect my home. But my brother didn't really do that. I mean the future of the kingdom itself. Which that fool will probably try to shoulder all on his own. So I guess they're pretty much the same thing at this point. Anyway, keep that to yourself. And don't you dare tell the boar. Sure thing. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you know, I don't really care much for flowers. But this... This isn't so bad. <laughs>